today we're going to be talking about joint tenancy. And when I say joint tenancy, what I'm really talking about is a way to hold title to assets. So for instance, it could be a bank account, or it could be real estate, or maybe it's a, an investment account. And generally, it's a married couple that holds title as joint tenants. And the reason people do this is so that if something happens to one of the people who is on the account, a husband or a wife, or a wife and a wife, or a husband and a husband, or it could be even a parent and a child, if something happens to one of them, then the other one remains an owner on the account and still has full access to all the money in the account or the real estate. Um, so that's the benefit of holding title as joint tenants. The disadvantage of joint tenancy is if something happens to both of the owners, if it is a, a husband and wife and something happens to both of them, they both pass away, then there is no longer an owner on the account or on the real estate. And that's the point that we get into probate. If there's no owner of a bank account, if there's no owner of real estate, then we are looking at a probate situation. So people think about holding title as joint tenants as a way to avoid probate when in fact a lot of times what happens is that it ends up going to the probate court. One of the things that can be done to avoid uh, probate and to avoid holding title as joint tenants is to put assets into a trust. So a lot of times we will do a real estate trust for real estate where the uh, real estate is transferred into a realty trust. The joint tenants continue to hold title as trustees. They continue to control the real estate. If they want to sell it or do anything with it, they can. The benefit is that if they were to both pass away, the trust continues to own the property and there are successor trustees in there that can sell or transfer it if needed. So there's no probate. Same thing can be done with bank accounts or financial assets. They can be put into a different kind of a trust so that if the joint owners pass away, the trust continues, continues to own the property and there's no probate involved. So to summarize, joint tenancy is, is good because if one of the owners passes away, the, the remaining owner still has uh, access to the assets. It's bad in that if both joint owners pass away, it is a probate situation. A trust can help to avoid that situation. If you have any questions about this or you'd like to talk to us about it more at Lance Law, you can give us a call at 508-998-8800. Or if you want to visit our website, you can do that at lancelawinc.com. Take care.